Welcome back everyone, it's Stray Fay here with another episode of Harvest Moon Save the Homeland. Right, we are in the middle of the rainy season, and also in the middle of the endangered weasel storyline. So, yeah, we've been befriending Gwen, and she still has many doubts about whether or not we should be using the endangered weasel as a way to save the homeland, because she doesn't want to exploit her little furry friend. Even though we very much think that she is wrong, that we should we should use him as an excuse to save the homeland, because otherwise all the wildlife here will be dead. Anywho, I think it'll take us about a few more days to convince her. Just gotta, just gotta jam her up a bit. And, yeah, just progress the days until she stops by for another visit. Chickadees. You guys are gonna be stuck in here for a few days. Probably should ignore them for a while, but, you know, might as well collect some eggs. I'm also very, very full on the eggs. I'm gonna have to probably sell a bunch soon, otherwise we could store some. Oh, we are out of fodder. In our bag, anyway. Let's put some more in our fanny pack here. Eh, that's enough. <laughs> Night horse and cow. So much easier when you guys are outside and can just eat for free. Where, you, where the heck did you go? <laughs> cow! Wandering around all over the place. Get some milk out of you. Okay, dope. let's go. Right, let's go hunt for Gwen. She's gonna be in our shop today. Since it's a Wednesday. Not sure where she's gonna be on a Thursday. If it's raining. She might she might hang out with Kurt in his room on a rainy Thursday. I think we I think we recall finding in finding in her finding her in there during a different storyline. Are you in here? Hi Gwen. Uh, I'm still thinking about Snowball. Give me some time to think. Well, you better not take too long. <laughs> here's some here's some jam to convince you. You have anything to say, Woody? Does not work too hard when it's raining. He already mentioned how Gwen seems a little bit depressed lately, which is unlike her. She's <laughs> she's never had to make such a tough decision. Right, let's go to sleepy sleepy time. Maybe <laughs> if it's a sunny day, that that will mean that we activated the cutscene. If not, then still gotta. So we gotta butter her up some more. Let's go to sleep. Let's save over this file. I'm still raining. Gonna be 50% chance of rain tomorrow. You're gonna get some random storm. <laughs> Here you go, dog. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit lazy, so here you go, chickens. It's gonna give you feed, and you could sit on your eggs for the day before they vanish into into thin air. Oops, I missed. <laughs> oh, I missed. Here you go, animals. Oh. Right, time to hunt down Gwen. <laughs> Takes a little bit longer because we can't ride our horse. Can't just gallivant over there. I always, feel, I always feel so sleepy on, on rainy days. Even in Harvest Moon, especially since there's no peppy music. Ah. Alright, Gwen. Ooh, berries. 
get distracted by forageables. Alright, Gwen, let's see if you're in Kurt's room, which is kind of odd. He, she doesn't really seem to associate much with those two guys. Even though she probably sees them all the time. Ah, uh, she's not in here. Where is she? I have nothing to do when it rains. Well, this is complicated. Are you in here? Maybe? Okay, she hangs out here as well. Uh, I'm still thinking about Snowball. Give me some time to think. No. You hurry that thinking up. It's like, I want, I want to get this this storyline done today. Today, miss. Back to bed. Alright, <laughs> it's pretty quick. Let me in. I wonder how, how much, how's my dog doing? Oops, I didn't mean to go to options. My dog's actually at four hearts. <laughs> cool. Getting smarter, and he listens to what I say. Maybe now he'll actually listen to the flute if I play it for him. Yeah, I got four power berries. I'm so proud. Alright, let's go back to sleep. Yep, yeah, let's save. Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling Gwen is not gonna visit today, because it's storming. Here you go, dog. Actually, here's some, some thunder. Kinda spooky. Yeah, there you go, chickens. Bye, chickens. Just don't die. We got some, got some really loud thunder here. Usually it's just loud rain. Wonder what determines determines the thunder. Usually you'd, you'd expect that during like a, a a summer storm. You know the the heat. Heat 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 does something with like thunder clouds. Okie doke. Back out in the rain we go. Try not to get hit by lightning. <laughs> Hopefully the weasel's okay and doesn't get, get drowned out. Oh uh, man, that was also a problem when I worked on the farm. The weasels had a bad habit of crawling into irrigation pipe. So we'd like end up plugging it and like turning it turning on the hose. Turning on the pipe, and uh, yeah, they'd end up drowning. <laughs> so eventually, we had to. Do you have anything to say, Gwen? Grandpa says that just because this place is gone, it doesn't mean that it'll be forgotten. That it's not like it's going to be completely gone. I know that, but it still makes me sad. I don't want to lose this place. Well, you have the opportunity to change that, Gwen. Hmm? Oh, okay, Gwen. You're making me a little angry. <laughs> Anywho, what was I saying? Oh uh, yeah, we had to like get into this habit of like flushing out the pipe, so all the weasels would come out before we like plugged it up. You didn't want those things to die. I think eventually, eventually though, over the course of time, they got wiped out because I I haven't seen a weasel on the farm in a while. Alright, I think yeah, everyone's been fed. Let's go to sleep. Still raining. Hmm. Tomorrow will be sunny, though. Uh, I'm gonna need to make more jam for Gwen. Gwen, two, three. Probably won't need that much more, though. One, two, and three. Alright, let's see if we can last 
that will last for the remainder. There you go, doggy. Delicious food. And chickens. Again, getting a little bit close to the feed box here. It's a little hard to move around when they're blocking the way here. There you go. Yeah, let's make sure my horse and cow don't starve. One and two. Nay. Oh, there we go. Uh, I might as well milk the cow. <laughs> this is like a waste. Probably sell this cow soon. How much gold milk do we have? Eight? Hmm. It'd be nice to have more, but... Kind of a lot of effort to put into a cow and all I want to do is like get cutscenes. Alright Gwen, give you another jam. Let's see if your mood has improved any. Hello, are you in here? Hey Gwen? Uh, I'm still thinking about Snowball. Give me some time to think. You have gotten so many days to think. Think faster! Just do it! Do I need to show you that video? Just do it. Alright, back to bed. Now, last time I did it, it took me three days, but... Then again, her affection was at maximum before I started triggering cutscenes. So it might take a little bit longer to get her up to full. Let's sleep. Okay, another storm. <laughs> Game, you said it was sunny tomorrow, and you obviously lied. Quit lying to me, game. Alright, well, we should be hitting, hitting a dry season soon, so we can let our animals out probably tomorrow. There. Don't starve, chickens. That's so loud. At least there's no thunder. One. Two. Skip a few. Ninety-nine. A hundred. Here we go. Uh, where's my milker? Might as well milk, milk you out. Okay. Back to Gwen. <laughs> I know, it's a little bit boring at the beginning. He's like, come on, Gwen. It's like pulling teeth. How do you feel today? Grandpa said that, yeah, just because this place is gone, it doesn't mean that it'll be forgotten. And it's not like it's going to be completely gone. I know that, but it still makes me sad. I don't want to lose this place. Come on, Gwen. We have to have really high affection with her. She's, like, sharing her doubts with me. If she doesn't visit tomorrow, I'm gonna need to make more jam. See, how many berries do I have in my inventory? Yeah, okay, we got plenty. Okay, what, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Monday, so Gwen will still be in her shop. 
I'll have to track her down anywhere else. Go back to sleep again. Riveting. Alright, sunny days. I, I, I think it's sunny days from now on. Anyone here? Yes, finally! Gwen! I know you're there. Oh, look at me in the face. Don't pretend to be all depressed. You know this is the best option. Hey, I thought about Snowball. Well, I'll do it. Let's go take some pictures. I'll be waiting for you at the Harvest Goddess Lake at 7 p.m. tonight. Right, that's it. Just got, just gotta wait now. It's all right. Finally. Oops, that was a funny little spin I did. Okay, so I'm guessing. I'm, I'm guessing I don't need to give her any more jam to boost her affection. Maybe I'll like make one more just in case. I'm probably gonna spend most of the day just like gathering stuff. Reaccumulate my stock of very berries. Last eggy. Alright, chickens, you finally get some sunshine. That's all I've been letting you do is sit around and eat bird feed. Come here, Holly. You look well today. Hey, hey, a little closer. Out you go. Come here, horse. Out you go. And I'll get the mucker out. Where are you, cow? Alright, you're in the middle. Running even further away. Stop that. <laughs> do, you, just like, do you not like being milked on that side? Alright, let's go for a walk. I'll leave the horse behind just because we need to we need to kill the time. Until seven. Let me make one more jam. Do a little bit more cooking. I mean, we will need the jam in the next storyline as well. So I probably shouldn't be wasting it, but... Meh. There you go. Keep that in my pocket. Where I'm getting all these jars, who knows? Tim. <laughs> Bye, Tim. Oh, little booger boy. Well, he's not really that much of a booger boy, but... He has a really high, shrill scream. It's the one you talked of in Magical Melody, and it's, it's funny. He has, like, beady eyes. Hey, Katie. Do you guys have anything to say? Yawn. I couldn't sleep well last night. Too much loud rain. I'm still sleepy. Wow, everyone's just... There are lots of nuts in the forest, but not during winter. Uh, I haven't found that many nuts. <laughs> Hello, Katie. She walks funny. <laughs> I was like, we kinda, I don't know, we kinda have these strides, but like, she kinda bobbles her head. From like, left to right, and it looks silly. Hi, you weirdo. See you later. It's surprising how, like, Kate's involved in hardly any of these stories. She has her own story, but, like, usually the other characters are kind of involved on the side, but not Katie. 
she she just she just showed up once to like put down Joe during a fishy story. Woody. I really start to appreciate water once the dry season hits. If you know what I mean. I guess. Hi Gwen, I'll see you tonight. You better not forget. You better not have forgotten. Tonight at the Harvest Goddess Lake. Yes, at 7 p.m. Here's a snack, in case you get hungry. I'll only gag around some more. Uh, there's only like a few blueberries over there. I thought more would be grown. Hmm. Maybe there's like a maximum of like four can be grown over there. The berry berries seem to grow rather quickly. Never have to worry about those. Medicinal herbs. Uh, darn, it's Monday. I should have uh, I should have sold some things while I was up at the villa. Now nah, it's it's a little too late. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't feel like walking all the way back up there. And I can't sell anything at the cafe because it's Monday. Oh well. If if anything, if anything, I could just. Store it away in the fridge. Let blueberries grow. Replenish, please. All right, time. Time to wait around. <laughs> Like not much. <laughs> I could I could go fishing. <laughs> That's one thing I could do. Huh? Yeah, I, I can use that to burn time. Gotcha. I haven't done this in a while. Time to catch catch cans and boots. Little fish <laughs> or little fish as well. You're you're definitely some trash. No, oh, apparently apparently uh. You can throw animals in the, in the lake. I haven't tried doing this though, but like if you throw a dog in here, you can get a dogfish. Like once you start fishing for fishies. And if you throw a chicken in the water, you can get like chicken of the sea can. This is kind of funny. I don't really feel like sacrificing my animals though. <laughs> to clean the lake. It's super polluted. So many cans. There must be, there must, apparently there's a boot factory underneath the lake and there must be like a dump somewhere upstream. Or maybe there's also a cannery right next to the boot factory. More boots. That Joe is coming here. <laughs> hey Joe. I'll keep it with little fish. You can like still cook with them. Even if a lot of people don't like them as gifts. It's, 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 it has to be almost time. It's almost seven. Good evening. Good evening, young sir. I walked in there too early. Get back out there, Talon. 
You can't just wait around in here. Alright, now the music has gone away. Like when you <laughs> You're already you're already hiding here. Where were you hiding? I came here earlier and you weren't there. Over here, Talon! Alright, I'm coming. Stop yelling, you're, you'll scare away the weasel. We're not the ones to decide what's good or bad for Snowball, right? No, not this again, Gwen. After all, I don't know how Snowball feels, so I decided to be true to my own feelings. I know it's selfish of me. What, saving his life? But... Oh no! How selfish! I want you to live! There he is! It's Snowball! Quickly, I hope we have Flash on this camera. Cause I can't see anything. Oh, yeah, we have Flash. Ah, oh, god! <laughs> Seizure warning! Did we get a good shot? Well, he was looking right at us. So I think we're good. D I'm sorry. Oh my god, Gwen, you're like the worst. Don't feel sorry. Alright, well... We pretty much just have to wait a week at this point. Because hopefully Gwen will turn in... Yeah, she'll turn in that evidence that there's a weasel here and... They'll probably figure out that it's endangered and it'll save the homeland. I'm actually gonna talk to a few people though. I think there's some new dialogue. Assuming they're not just like, Oh, it's the dry season! Bleh. fish down there. I'm not clogging up my inventory. Yay, golden eggies! Alright, only one golden egg, darn. All right, let's go dump the cow. Did I just like... Okay, I was like, did I just put my fishing rod up higher up on my inventory list? I don't really want it that high up. Squeeze some milk out of your teats. All right, let's ride. Let's see if we can find the sprite somewhere. Let's try Clovis Villa first. Maybe I'll, I'll do some selling of the eggs. Make sure we got a decent chunk of change in our wallet. Hi hey, Tim, run you over. Now screw the rules. I have a horse. And they're not here. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to hunt them up hunt them around somewhere else. But since it's early morning, the kitchen is going to be open, and I can sell some things. Take my excess eggs! Yeah, this is good. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for something that I get every day. Alright, horse, let's continue looking for people to chat with. Do 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 uh, what day is it? Forgot to check the day. Ah, uh, Gwen's not gonna even... Gwen's not even gonna be in the shop. She's gonna actually be on the farm. Hey, do you have any new dialogue? After last night? Feels like we've been together for a long time. 
But it hasn't even been a year. Yeah, it's only been like, it hasn't even been a month. You just like me so much. I did have to give her a lot of jam just to like move along the cutscenes. Um, okay, sprites are here. Woody is also here. Do you have anything to say? So, you sent in a picture of Snowball. It's not bad to worry about things. Gwen made up her own mind. I'm sure she won't regret it. She won't. In the end, everyone lives. Unless you wanted everyone to die. Hey, hey, uh, Knack? Must be tough being an unusual animal. It's a good thing nobody can see us. I mean, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure there'll be a lot of questions if people could suddenly see you. Is Snowball gonna be taken away? They're just going to make a rule saying nobody can catch him, right? Yeah, that's precisely what's gonna happen. No one's gonna catch him. You're not gonna put him in a zoo. You don't have true freedom if you're protected by people. I'm glad we can't be seen. I mean, you were, you were in trouble too. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you aren't seen, guys. If you're... If this place isn't protected, then everyone dies. Well, the wildlife dies. We, we just- we can move. But I'm not sure if the sprites can move. Well, maybe they can. They, they kind of showed up in Forget-Me-Not Valley later on. The animals- the animals don't have that sort of luxury, though. They can't just pick up and leave on their own volition. I think the goddess has something to say as well. After last night. Goddess? I wonder what has happened with Snowball's picture now. I hope everything goes well. It will. After sleeping for a week, of course. <laughs> so let's head back to bed. Because I think that's all the characters that said something unique. After last night's cutscene. And I want to pick up that blueberry over there. <laughs> Seems like a lot of effort for just one. Oh, might as well. I can run fast. Hey, how, where the heck did you come from? You just spawned here. grass horse and everyone else should be fine I think I'm just gonna like sleep and feed the dog and then go back to sleep oh, yeah. save the weather should be sunny forever uh, here you go dog the dog gets food though because I don't want him to get sick apparently yeah he can't get sick but you can cure him for free if you show him to Bob but you kind of have to know that you you can do that I don't want oops <laughs> whoops chuck an egg I'll, I'll replace that with this one I'll grab a few more Chickens, lay me some more eggs tomorrow. I probably won't pick them up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, sleep. I think it should be on the 29th that something happens. Okay, good. Didn't rain. Seventh. A uh, slight chance of rain. I hope it doesn't. Please don't. Okay. 
Okay, thank goodness. Or else I would have had to spend so much time putting everyone back in. Here you go, doggy. I think this is the last day? Question mark? It's 29th. It's been a week since we've taken the picture. Or does it want an extra day from us? It's gonna might rain tomorrow. Yep, here we go. Ah, uh, victory music! Talon! Yeah, like, Lewis is here as well. I, I guess he did donate the camera. We sent Gwen's picture to the publisher. What does it say? <laughs> has a butterfly on there. That weasel really was an endangered animal, so... They're talking about preserving this land now. See, Gwen? It all worked out. No one had to be exploited. And no one had to die. I guess this is good, right? Don't do this, Gwen. You really <laughs> go home, Gwen. I don't I don't want to hear it. Snowball can go on living under their protection. And we're allowed to stay here, but it still doesn't feel completely right. Can I slap you in the back of the head? It's like, oh no, we all get to keep our homes and livelihoods. How horrible. This land doesn't have to be exploited and turned into an amusement park. Nature can thrive. Because, you know, is he really going to be happy being protected by humans? Oh, okay, Gwen, fine. He would have been happier being dead. Is that the answer that you want to hear? I mean, I'm happy that Snowball can go on living here. But... No, uh, no, you probably just wished he got run over by a freaking tractor. <laughs> uh, what? We didn't protect him nor exploit him? That's what I've been trying to say, Gwen. I like how she has question marks on her boots. It, it, uh, exemplifies how clueless she is. I think I know what you mean. Just like how... Little Snowball is gonna live his life to the fullest. We should live our lives to the fullest too. Okay, that's that. The endangered weasel <laughs> storyline. <laughs> I tell like how triggered I was getting during this. Like it was, it was so stupid. Like the reasons why she wouldn't do it were really stupid. She could have saved the homeland at any point, but she's like, no. I don't want to exploit Snowball. I'd rather have him get get killed under construction crew. Because my own selfish reasons. That's that, though. I kind of I liked some of the cutscenes, though, especially when like the Harvest Rites are freaking out that they're going to get eaten by a weasel. Weasels are very, like... Like, ferrets, weasels, and minks, they're like kind of the same type of animal. They're very... They're like really good killers. <laughs> they're good at getting small places and just like destroying rodents. It's kind of fun. I remember, like, I remember watching a bunch of these videos where this guy trained a bunch of minks to become ratters and they were just... They would go into like these dairy farms and just clear out like 30, 50 rats in a day. <laughs> it's like amazing. It's like, oh my god, this thing's like a killing machine. But yeah. I, the harvest sprites. The harvest sprites had good reason to be scared of this thing. Alright, Gwen, who took a picture of it? Yeah, yeah, this is really annoying. I like the harvest sprites involvement in this. I did not like Gwen's involvement in this. She was being really dumb the whole time. Luckily, none of the other none of the other endings are like that. Like all the other all the other peeps in this in this village are just like gung-ho about discovering new species and like saving their home. 
There's like no doubts in their mind. It's just, they have to just go through the trouble of like finding, finding said animal. the end? Almost to the end of the credits? <laughs> they can't really show that much more, can they? Yes, Gwen, we saved the homeland. I know you're just gonna look depressed about it. Alright, that seems to be the end of the music. What's our bonus cutscene gonna be? Oops. Uh, where are we? Are we- are we on top of the barn? How do we get up there? And we're alone with Gwen, oh no. You could probably see where this is going. It's not possible to live without regrets, is it? Oh, be quiet, Gwen. You're ruining this nice sunset. I mean, who's gonna decide what's right and wrong? Everyone has a different way of thinking. Oh uh, yeah, Gwen, that's nice. You just have to go on living, even though you might make mistakes. Yes, Gwen. We make mistakes, but this wasn't one of them. <laughs> but I think that's a lot better than regretting that you didn't do anything in the end. Yes, do you get it now? Do you finally get it? Yeah, I'm alright. I feel better now. Um, so, thanks. Hey, could you bend down for a second? Uh, no. I don't feel like it. No, don't do anything, farmer. So, what I mean is, I probably wouldn't have done anything if you didn't talk to me, Talon. I would have just sat around being worried. So, this is like a gesture of my appreciation. Oh no, what are you gonna do? Just stay down! Oh god! Rape! Rape whistle! No! Don't do it! Don't do it, Talon! <laughs> Blech. No, I don't want- I don't want romance with her. Alright, yeah, I get a kiss with the girl at the end. Yes, let's save our clear data. Alright, we got the weasel stamp. And I guess the next time... We're gonna do another one that involves Gwen, but she acts a little less stupid in this one. We're actually gonna do the horse race. So, as you know, one of Gwen's hobbies is horse racing, so we're probably gonna have to compete against her. And we're also gonna have to befriend Bob, the, the big guy who gave us the horse. Alright, so before we end, let's actually check out some profiles. Uh, for some reason we got Woody. <laughs> as well, even though we didn't really befriend, befriend him, and he wasn't really that much involved in this, other than us talking to him. Anyway, what to say about Gwen? She's age 18, she's pretty young. Uh, her birthday's on the 8th day of summer, she is 5'6". She weighs 110 pounds. Wow, she's really light. I figured she'd be like a little bit more muscular, <laughs> considering that she horseback rides and she works at a carpenter's. Well, she likes horseback riding, animals, fruits, and she just likes spoiled people. I don't know, Gwen, you seem a little bit spoiled to me. She's a strong-minded, powerful woman. Although she seems cold, she likes to take care of others. She's unforgiving to towards those who mistreat animals. I don't know about that, Gwen. You were about to kill a lot of animals with your <laughs> inaction here. Alright, how about Woody? Her grandfather, second... Second of winter, we're never gonna get to celebrate his birthday. He's age 60 and he looks so old. He's 5'5, five five, 139 pounds. He likes drinking. He dislikes potatoes and other tubers. That's actually gonna be relevant in another story, <laughs> surprising enough. 
He is stern, but rather gentle. To his apprentices, he is both strict and kind. He loves his granddaughter Gwen very much and is concerned for her future. I think you you are right in that concern. I wonder what it says on his shoes. It just looks like X's. I thought maybe it was like some Japanese character, but no. Yeah, because her shoes have like a question mark on them. <laughs> I wonder if like other characters have little stuff like that hidden around there. I mean, Joe is obviously just based off America. Alright, well, I think... Yeah, I think I'm gonna end it off here. We just finished off the Endangered Weasel. Pretty... Another pretty short storyline. And in the next episode, we'll get going with the horse race. I hope you guys had a fun and relaxing time. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.